Hey y'all, it's Solo. We got some asparagus here growing. I put a lot more in than just three, but all we got up is three. So I might go back next year and add a few more. But um, I'm glad just to see a couple came up. That's always good. And uh, they are indeed growing. They're tiny right now, but um, hopefully two to three years from now, they'll be long, thick stalks that we can cook up. And man, if you've ever had fresh asparagus, I'll tell you what. When I lived in Georgia, we just got some just a few years before we moved. It was so tasty. Like, you can't go back to store-bought asparagus after that. So, um, I have high hopes for all of these plants. Really high hopes. Really high hopes, especially my cannabis. <laughs> but, uh, these guys, um, these perennials, they should come back next year as long as they, uh, they build up enough strength to get through the winter. Um, I guess that will be the tell if they come back next year. Uh, if they don't, uh, we're probably going to have to uh, add some dirt to this. Uh, they're probably not getting enough uh, water retention, honestly. But, um, hey, maybe, maybe it'll be okay. They might shoot their roots all the way down through this container into the earth underneath the raised beds. There's nothing stopping them. So, I'm just going to keep an eye on them. Uh, but this is one of those plants that you kind of just have to leave be for a few years. Is if you start prematurely trying to eat it, it just ties back. So we have to be patient. It's one of those plants you got. You gotta wait. You just gotta wait and let it let it get bigger before it's ready to harvest. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the update on the asparagus plants. These are my cultivated ones. I also have uh, some wild ones uh, grow. We pulled some out of the ground in an area we were driving through. We didn't want to kill them, so we we dug them up. Um, so I'll show you that really quick. So this is a wild asparagus plant that we then put in the bed. Um, it's not doing so good, <laughs> that's for sure. But uh, we'll see if it comes back stronger next year. I really wish I could uh, add dirt at this point, but I'd be really I'd be disturbing the plants, and I'd rather kind of just let them die out and readjust and put fresh plants in rather than uh, try to pull them apart and put dirt around the roots. I just worry I'm going to shock them with the very little life they have left. Might as well kind of just see what they do. Anyway, take care y'all.